Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Let's Play the Cynics Bird by Watermelon Pesto. Um, so this is a game I received a free cop or a, a free key um, of specifically to Let's Play. I did play the demo of this a little while ago, and it was a very strange game. It was about like this bird with an old man head who finds himself in a castle of other old men. Um, it had a very strange sense of humor, but one that did kind of get me quite a bit. I really wanted to play more of it. Um, and yeah, the, the full version is finally out. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Are you playing on a modder with a refresh rate of 60 hertz? I am... Buddy, I play video games on the internet. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Whatever. Is this recording? I just want to check real quick. Yep, okay. Looks like it's good. Oh boy, what a, um, what a weather. This is Grulo Bird. Senex Bird Grulo Bird. Grulo Bird lives in a fantastic world full of uh, dull, uh, drool creatures. First and foremost, um, Senex is the plural of Senex and describes geezers as old as the hills. A Senex bird kind of uh, is a whim of nature, the combination of a bird and a Senex. Senex birds are mainly characterized like Senex by three things. Their, um, their preference for bad gags, great hunger, and spontaneous uh, occurring um, uh, senality. Let's see where Grillo bird is flying today. I think I could munch on something for a change. A tasty roast would be nice, or a buffet. It's been a while since I had some meat in my beak. You don't have a beak. <laughs> oh, grottle birds. Grottle, grottle. Grottle birds are probably... Probably are the most unproductive creatures in the world. And besides, they are poisonous. You really don't want to run into them. Dodge them by pressing up and down. Easy, I say. Easy. So, this game, for what I remember, does not have any combat. Um, it just has, like, a bunch of, like, mi funny mini games like this. So it's a nice little change of pace from kind of the stuff I normally play. I always love when I get, like, tossed a game like this every now and then. <laughs> I, I've, I was actually, I've actually, like, really been looking forward to this game's full release, because, like, I, I just need to see what the story, the full story even is, you know? Like, I was so intrigued by how weird and random this game was. Easy, Chillo. I can perform those tricks even when asleep on, uh, or while power napping. Oh no, what, uh, what's that over there? Grottle, grottle. Even more grottle birds, yikes. Ooh, this one's a move. Oh wait, no, just the screen is moving, because I'm moving with them. Oh no, I think that's the camera moving, not the birds themselves. Also, these are bats. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hi. Uh, hi? Grottle. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Yipes, I'm still alive. My wings are still intact, lucky me. Hopefully the grotto bird didn't infect me with his gro uh, grottiness. Let's get out of here fast. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. This all looks familiar, because, yeah, I, I do remember this part of the game. The demo for this game was really cool, because, like, I forgot how the dev worded it, but, like, it wasn't just, like, the starting part of the game. It was, like, the starting part and then just, like, two random out-of-context moments in the game. Just so you get, like, a nice little sampler of just, like, you know, the game's general vibe. And I, I really liked how that, how it did that, and I kind of wish more games had demos like that. Oh, a Senex. I'm not alone in this rotten grotto. E. Senex. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> A dino skeleton. Oh boy, where did I end up here? Where did that come from? The wall looks fragile. Unfortunately, I have no bombs on me. I could try to use my beak and pick it open. Bonk. That doesn't work. Maybe I can find a beak reinforcement somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I remember this mechanic. I remember the demo did not use this mechanic much. Oh! A metal thing. A drill peck. And it won't be your last. With that, I should be able to break open the fragile wall. By the way, who's um, locked uh, locked up the sleeping cynics here and since when? Doesn't seem like I can go back. Okay, drill pick. Nice. Oh boy, where, um, where did I end up here? In your garden, Chief Bert. I know that myself. Nay, you've gone senile. Thanks. Whatever, let's start with the, per uh, the procession. Okay. And don't forget, your eyes must always be turned towards the castle. What in the world are my birdie eyes just seeing? A Senex procession. The preceding one is apparently their leader, and probably the oldest one of them. Hey, 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 your eyes aren't facing the castle! <laughs> Did I just hear castle?
They look rather funny. Hurry up, um... Schnapalpo. E. You're pretty slow. Well, I've just munched a frog. Leal, I think I should follow them. Where there, um, there are uh, senes, there is meat. Maybe I'll find something to munch on. And Castle does sound, this doesn't sound too shabby. What does it say? Left, nothing. Center, this sign. Right, enter to Castle Senex Castle. Castle Senex Castle. That explains the joyful view. That's not a bad use of, like... that. That's an RPG Maker default, like, title screen asset. That's not bad looking for what that is. The chick make frogs, uh, chickens make frog sounds, of course. Or, yeah, that's not a bad use of that graphic at all. Okay, let's go in. I always have seen devs use graphics in ways you wouldn't really expect them to. The damn horse bit me. Never mind, both wings are still intact. If, I, if uh, the secret passage is blocked, I guess I'll just have to fly to the castle. Be the, bir um, the birdie you want to see in the world. I gotta get a running start first. It's like teleporting an Earthbound. Okay, I can see the towers. Which one should I land on? I'm so fast, I can't even break. Once again, Gorilla Bird is flying at um, excessive speed. Try to land on one of the towers repeatedly by pressing the space bar on one of or on one of the arrows. Oh, I see. Oh my God, this is big. I'm assuming this loops. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yipes, what a landing, but how do I get in now? Oh, a fragile spot. What a coincidence. Let's break it open. I see how- I swear I've seen this exact minigame before. It must be a common plugin for M or MV, I think? This feels like an MV game. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Yeah, the path is clear. The plunge can come. Ouch. Huh? Where did, um, where did I end up here? And who's swimming there? What is he throwing? <laughs> Juice box slurp bird. Hey, what's the bird doing in here? I plunged. Classy. Uh. My name is Juicebox uh, Slurp Bird. For short, Juicebox Slurp Bird. 
I'm just swimming some laps. Swimming time is from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. I need to burn my calories in order to balance my wicked energy-rich consumption of juice boxes. Isn't that gnarly expensive? Chief Bird subsidizes me. Why else did I build a swimming pool, he whistled. So make yourself at home. Juice boxes. <laughs> so gnarly, man. Treating myself. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Can't... Oh! Okay, cool. What a tragedy, it's empty. I'll just use the straw to sharpen my beak. Wait, what? Okay, I guess that works. Beak sharpening straw. You can now pick more, um, more brutally. Please don't try this at home. Appreciated. Okay. So we can now break a window. Oh, okay. Well, we've done that one. So let me just check, um... Okay, yeah. This game forces a full screen, which is a pet peeve of mine. I typically don't like it when games do that, because it kind of makes it hard to... I, I like having the OBS window up, you know, so now I have to constantly check it. Yipes, what a landing. Um... Let's speak it open. Uh? Uh... Eee, my beak is stuck. Oh no. A grottle bird, help, not again! Ah! Uh. Mm. Please save the game. <laughs> okay, if, whatever you say, watermelon pesto games. <laughs> I'm predicting this game isn't going to be that long compared to the demo, but it's going to be like a fun time. I mean... I, I guess, like, I get what I mean is, like, this isn't going to be, like, a 60-hour game, you know? Oh, yeah, this is another part of the demo right here. <laughs> I predict this will probably be between, like, three to four hours, which, you know, for a comedy game is kind of perfect. Hmm? E, he is awake. The bird is awake. Awake he is. Rejoice for the bird. Hey, but why are you lying in the sand with your bald head? Let me help you up. Where am I? You're at the beach of Castle Senex Castle. At the beach? For real? Really? How come I landed here? Not landed, stranded. What a gag. What a gag. Fishy Burton, I saw you floating around. Whatever floats your boat. Oh boy, seems like a grotto bird took a hold of me and dropped me in the sea. Grotty. Yeah, if I hadn't been <clears throat> for you guys, I might have breathed my last breath from my beak. Thank you very much for rescuing me. Of course, we Senes need to stick together. Soon it's going to be dark. Why don't you come with us and rest your wings at Castle Senex Castle? Our leader, Chief Bert, will surely take you in. 
Thanks a lot, but I cannot accept that. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. <laughs> I, I guess we can. All right. <laughs> Walk Bert. Sometimes I just walk along the beach aimlessly since I'm starting to go senile. Roll a bus. Eureka. World bird. Hey, did you hear? He, did you hear? Fishy bird rents out his boat at fair prices. Shouldn't you go back to the castle too? The sun is starting to set. Ah, nonsense. Comfortable bus. It's much more comfortable here. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You see anything special? Yes, I'm seeing a ship. You want to see it as well? Wow, was that Chief Bert? I can't get to that guy. That looks like Juicebox Slurp Bert. <laughs> Want to go for a boat ride? A Senex bird. I've never seen one before. Cow Fred. You've never seen one before. Where are you from? I can't tell you. I'm from the cow world. Indeed. Holy cow. I read about that world. How'd you get here? Well, then you probably also read about our world is connected to yours by portals. I can't really recall. Been a while, but I've uh, never seen such a portal to, or even a cow. Well, due to the past, we prefer to, um, rarely leave our world or accept guests. I understand. But how come you visit us? Do you want to get tanned at the beach? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm part of a de uh, delegation. We're here on business. So you're a business cow. Ah, uh, here's how I get out to that guy. Oh, wait. Oh, it's automated. Okay, okay. Hi. Hey, he hey, Juicebox Slurpert. Hey, pal. What are these, uh, what are you doing here on the high seas? Going for a, wi a ride? What about you? Juicebox Slurping Contest of the high se on the high seas. Classy, those juicy drinks. So that's not a juice box, that's a juice pouch. Wait, <laughs> No, the artistic integrity. Senex bird, Senex bird, Gorilla bird. I welcome you to Castle Senex Castle. Chief bird, Chief bird. The pleasure is all mine. Well, birdie, I don't bear the title chief any longer. My time as an infantry Senex is long since past. Back then, in the battle against Apocalyptus, I lost two fingers. He bit off one of my fingers. The other one, I bit off myself. Great strategy. Thank you, agricult ag agriculture Fred. Agriculture freed Fred. <laughs> He knows what he's talking about. I hired him um, as a strategist. But let's move on to more important matters, Birdie. Let me show you something. Oh yes! Why is it green? Is that a leaf it's laying on? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Let me try to clarify it. Send a step forward. Stop, I changed my mind. 
<laughs> no, I didn't. Hey, Pitbird. Yes, why does one of them have a rounder butt? Whistle the pit roll for our guest. Bertie, have you realized now that I want what I want to tell you? Yes, now I fully understand. <laughs> Wait, why is your why does your portrait have the bulge effect? Vol, are you talking about my belly? I'm really just full as all. Volsenus quadratus. Yes, Vol uh, Volsenus, that's right. And now a special treat for our guest. Who wants to crack a gag? Me. Almost all of them. Not all of them, that's important to note. Nobody? Well, okay, sad Bert, then you may crack one. <laughs> Let's just liquefy Bert. Also, how do I feel when someone, uh, something good has happened to me? Sad. Gnarly funny, sad Bert. What a hearty jest. Well now, Bertie, I wish you a pleasant stay at Castle Senex Castle. Me too. Me three. Me four. <laughs> Your bed chambers is in the east east wing is ready for you. Thank you very much. I do mean- I do mean to be rude, but can a bird get something to munch on here? I've been searching in vain for days. Of course, we're not going to let our guests starve, most of the time. You really do have that much meat left. Left? You'll see. Senus, I proclaim an extra portion of evening treats. Roast bird, start the munch engine. Bird, unfortunately, I have to ask you to close your eyes. I don't eat anything that I can't see. No, I mean the other, um, on the way to the munching hall. Its exact location is a well-kept secret. Why is that? There's a time and place for everything, but now let's head to the munching hall. I think I remember this minigame from the demo. Okay, you may open your bird eyes now. Where are we? I expected tables and chairs and, um, and treats en masse. We are a bit more civilized than that, but now let's go to the munch engine. Um, how are we doing on time? Oh. I, I guess I have 20 friend requests on Epic? I... I only use Epic to let to like play the games. I don't use its social features. I don't know why I have that. Uh, oh my god, I remember that. I remember that from the demo. <laughs> you can't just put the pixelated sprite inside the illustration sprite. Oh, that aroma. Oh boy, what I wouldn't give for a liter of gravy. <laughs> that is the greatest guard sprite in any video game. Sorry, no admissions to the Holy Halls. This is the uh, this is the munch engine? Delicious, what does it do? You'll see soon, are you ready to munch? Guard 14, pass on the meat command. Let there be meat. I'm guard 15. My fault. Hmm. I said from today, I promote you to guard 14. Goodness heavens, thank you. I'll happily let guard 14 know that he's just been degraded to guard 15. Guard X15, now 14. But before that, I'll pass the meat command. 
Well, you gotta keep your staff well under control, like I do. I mean, you understand that, don't you? Yeah, very admirable. Ah, the engine is running now. Bon much, much appetit. <laughs> Bone altitude. The engine is well. Try to catch as much meat as possible by pressing the space bar. You can also move left and right. Can I get a perfect in this? <laughs> I don't like the sound effect for eating. Alright, simple so far. Oh, I missed one. Why don't you just get on the belt and open your mouth? I <laughs> I think the machine might be going haywire. Oh, you can mash it. Okay. Uh, alrighty then. <laughs> My dear Sun Expert, you've munched 57 meats. That is incredible. Holy gramps, your stomach can compete with uh, Bacon Bird and um, Volusenus together. Take this as a sign of my respect. Senus Seal. One of four rarities. So there are collectibles in this game. I'm stuffed. That was very good and much needed. My hospitality and I f uh, are flattered. It must have been quite some time with no meat for you. Yes, it's been a while. One doesn't find much meat out there nowadays. Where did you get all that meat? Well, I can show you, Birdie. Follow me. Where did you take me? Just have a look around. Hmm. Is that? Wolves? Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, that looks like a... That looks... That's an uncomfortable amount of meat. Is that all that meat? You bet, my finely feathered friend. This is the pride of the castle, Senex Castle, the big meat hall. <laughs> but how? Come time, come proper explanation, little bird. Okay, but come time, come treat, come feast. That's all. That's old Senex wisdom. I've got some burning questions, but I shouldn't overstay my welcome. And my head is ringing. When I see those meat mountains, what is uh, what is what is that? Thanks a lot, Chief Bird, for the hospitality and the mighty munch uh, munchy meat. Don't mention it. Well, I will gu um, guide you back now, or do you want to stay? This all means yes. <laughs> I would never let anyone stay alone in the Holy Meat Hall.
Well, Bert, um, Bert, uh, Bert, Bert McBird, I guess you'll sleep much deeper now that you're full. I also hope that an extra portion, uh, portion meat made you as, uh, as happy as me. Absolutely, but unfortunately I can't go to bed yet. I've got some work left to do. Being the lore of the castle comes with, uh, some strings attached, and I don't mean violins. That, it ain't that easy. Like I said before, your bed chambers await you in the east wing. Sleep tight. Thanks again, Chief Bert, and all the other nice, uh, Senes. Sleep tight. <laughs> Very eepy. <laughs> Alrighty then, I think that'll be it for this episode. I- I am- I need to know where this game goes. I really do. I can't- I'm so excited that this is finally finished. And I can experience the full game now and show it with you folks too. Well, yeah, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.